My hair is kinky, my skin is brown, and I always felt like I wasn't pretty enough because of my natural hair. At the same time, people would say that I wasn't black enough because of the music I liked and the things I liked to do. Ever since I was a child, I actually felt like pretty out of place. I didn't really know how to define it because I didn't really have like the vocabulary. I was always like isolated. You know, some days I'll just feel very masculine, other days I'll just feel very feminine. It's not, it's not definite. I feel like I should be able to explore without trying to like fit into one box. That's not genderqueer. My parents were both born in Haiti. My mom came here at a later age, so she's very, she's more traditional. She's a very strong person, and like she fights for workers' rights. My dad came here when he was very young, and he's like very Americanized because of that. He knows that America's wild. I know they helped form who I am today. The case with Trayvon Martin was what woke me up. I guess when I started feeling very conscious about who I was as a person, and I realized that my very being itself was political. Nobody really cares about black people, nobody cares about black femme bodies. And it's upsetting that I have to learn that at like such a tender age, but it is what it is. I started to be very informed about how I should spread awareness. Art just brings this hidden dialogue that other mediums and platforms can't really bring. You shouldn't feel pressured into like trying to fit like a single mold. You should try to find your own narrative.